NASCAR has announced their official driver lineup for the Garage 56 entry at the 24 Hours of Le Mans. Uh, if you did not know this, but NASCAR will actually have its own entry, the Garage 56 entry, which I think is kind of like a special entry. Uh, I'm not too familiar with the 24 Hours of Le Mans in terms of the sp specifics. I know it's one of the biggest races in the world. Obviously, it's 24 hours, but that there's different classes. That's about my knowledge of it. Um, so yeah, that I don't know all the specifics about the Garage 56 other than that NASCAR has it this year. They have a specific race car built for it. Hendrick Motorsports is assisting with the building and the testing and all of that stuff. It's not a normal stock car. It's not like the cars you're going to see this year on track, but it's a little bit, there's a little bit more to it in terms of the race car, a lot more differences, but they have used it as a little bit of a test for NASCAR. They've tested some of the parts from that Garage 56 entry on the car actually in the test just last week at Phoenix. So it has helped a little bit, but the point being the big news today was the driver lineup. That driver lineup is going to be Jimmy Johnson, Mike Rockenfeller, and Jensen Button. So three very different drivers, three drivers from three different types of motorsports. Obviously all NASCAR fans know who Jimmy Johnson is. Seven time cup series champion, 83 career wins. Um, now co-owner of Legacy Motor Club, formerly known as Petty GMS. Uh, but yeah, everyone knows who he is. Uh, it was expected that he was going to be in the car. He wanted to drive this car. He's done some endur endurance racing before. He's done the 24 hours of Daytona before, uh, which is actually starting just here in a couple hours. Uh, but yeah, Jimmy Johnson, he's done some endurance racing before, but obviously NASCAR is his main thing. That is what he is most known for. Mike Rockenfeller, he is known for endurance racing. In fact, he has won the 24 hour of Le Mans. Uh, he won the overall thing in 2010, and he also has a couple of class wins as well. Uh, so yeah, his focus is the endurance racing. He will probably be the most used, I guess, in terms of the knowledge, the driving, how to approach it, that kind of thing for Jimmy Johnson and Jensen Button. And then there's Jensen Button. Jensen Button, he won a Formula One World Championship in 2009. That was his kind of focus in terms of motorsport, uh, the open wheel F1. He did that for a while there, raced for a few teams, uh, but obviously a world championship, a very big deal. So three very different drivers from three very different forms of motorsport uh, to be in this Garage 56 entry. Uh, as I said, you know, NASCAR, they've been testing this car for a while. It was announced, I want to say last summer, there's been pictures and videos out there online. You can go look at them of the car testing, of it driving. But I know that Jimmy Johnson and Mike Rockenfeller, they have done some of the testing for NASCAR. They've driven the car. They were anticipated to be the drivers, two of the drivers at least. Uh, and then Jensen Button, he was a little bit of a surprise. I didn't see that one coming. Some people speculated Jeff Gordon maybe, someone else from outside of NASCAR. Uh, but it was not known who that person would be. Uh, and then I think before the schedule was announced, people were saying maybe it'll be a current cup driver, but uh, the schedule just didn't work out for that. So yeah, uh, that's, that's your driver lineup. You got Jimmy Johnson, Mike Rockenfeller, and Jensen Button. Two of those, as I said, not a surprise, but one of them a little bit of a surprise. Jensen Button didn't see that one coming, but let me know what your thoughts are on the Garage 56 entry. Um, what are you looking forward to? Are you going to watch all 24 hours? I don't know that's possible, but it might be. Uh, but yeah, just let me know if your thoughts on the driver lineup, your thoughts on the 24 hours of Le Mans. And if you want to watch another endurance race, the 24 hours of Daytona is going on today and tomorrow.